starting up your music. the Friday here on the V Life Podcast on podcastdetroit.com. It's me, your girl, AD, and I have a very, very special guest with me today, Miss Angel. Hi. Hi. Miss Angel, do you want to give a brief introduction of who you are, ma'am? Um, like she said, my name is Angel. You can follow me on Instagram, Angel underscore Denise, D-E-N-I-C-E. Um, I am actually just someone who came in and I wanted to share <laughs> <laughs> interesting <laughs> interesting tidbits <laughs> for the ladies later on but we'll wait on that all right ah, we will we will thank you angel i appreciate you coming in and being a part of the show it's always good to have you know a different opinion fresh face especially since mine is the only one here today <laughs> as you guys can see no one's here they are uh, they're quarantined i guess or having other issues but yet we um they're all healthy though they are healthy, but they just didn't make it today. So we know the coronavirus is definitely out here and spreading across our country, quarantining all of my friends and family members. Oh, yes. Nothing to do, but it's a lot to do. It's just that I haven't gotten into that mindset yet where I'm ready to do it. Right. Like clean up. It's spring. So spring cleaning is due, of course. I got mm-hmm. a lot of winter clothes and shoes and boots everywhere. Yeah. I need to get rid of it. Papers, old mail. I could do a lot. I can read a few books that I haven't read. I can write some stuff. Yeah. See, I'm the opposite. I did everything because <laughs> I'm super busy. Calendar's oh. always full. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, let me clean. Let me do everything I need to do. So you did and it already? by day three, I didn't have anything to do. <laughs> yeah, day. And I'm like, what is life? <laughs> right? Day. I should have been like you because I feel like I was kind of at work because I work in education. So we was giving out um packets distant learning packets to last the kids for a few weeks at home so that took a couple days and just preparing all of that so getting that done hopefully they're doing them you guys better be doing y'all work but so it was like yesterday was my first day to kind of just like okay it's over i can relax and today is well it's friday now so i can really chill it's podcast day nothing to do i'm assuming that I mean, it was supposed to be 60 degrees today. I figured everybody, people were saying they were going to barbecue and do stuff, but I ain't seen no post yet. Mm-hmm. So if anybody is doing something, you know, hit me up because I want some food and I want to cheer on the fellowship a little bit. Right. You know, just a little bit. So how's, how have you been taking the virus, the coronavirus, and the people around you that you know? Um, I mean, we are taking it serious, yeah. but... I think a lot of us millennials, <laughs> we like to laugh through <laughs> the crisis. trying time. So, yeah, the memes are making me survive. They are funny. Def- definitely. I'm surviving through them. Um, I mean, but honestly, everything they tell us to do to prevent to get the coronavirus, I've already been doing it. I've been right. washing my hands. I've been staying home when I'm sick. I've been... Trying to prevent from getting other people sick. I mean, sick. so it's nothing new. I don't know how it's spreading so much, but... Um, just learning to be a homebody again is the only adjustment for me. It is an adjustment. I feel like for the last X amount of years, maybe 10, 15, 20, I don't know, that we've been out just kind of rushing here, rushing there, work, this, that, this event, this, that event. Mm -hmm. And like you said, as much as you complain about wanting to be at home, <laughs> I wish I could just go home and get some rest. I just wish I could sit in the house and just well, enjoy Well, it's a different when somebody tells me I have to exactly. go home. <laughs> like, uh, I have to go I home. I mean, the only thing we had good for us in adulting is doing what we wanted exactly. to do. <laughs> and they took that from us. Can't I mean, do a, I'm just saying. Can't do a quick little happy hour, you know. People are panicking. I mean, some people are afraid to just congregate just for whatever, just for fun, just to say, you know, Mm -hmm. how y'all doing? But I have a feeling once the temperature rises a little bit, people may not go out into local settings and big gatherings, but they definitely going to be in somebody's backyard. Yep. I do believe that. What's the number? 10 or less, right? Is is it 10 or less? 10 or less. Oh, my God. It was 50 to 100. 10 or less. I definitely stepped back from watching the news as much because it's like, 
constantly being drilled into your head every day. Update this, update, don't do this, this is that. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. And I mean, I do feel like fifty percent of me is like that. Like you said, I'm always being prevent, prevented, blah, trying to prevent things. Let's say that. And washing my hands and covering my sneezes and not going out when I'm sick. But it's like, I don't know. It's like, it's serious, but right. I guess when you don't know somebody that's personally affected close to you, you don't seem to take it as serious. And I feel bad for saying that, but most of us don't. It's true. It's like, oh, I don't, like when I went to, took my son to the dentist, they like, do you know anybody with COVID-19? Like, no. And that's, I don't, I don't know anybody. It's possible they might have it, but I don't know. Right. So I'm sure they don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. So it's just been a, a big deal. I was surprised to see Starbucks was still open, and I was thankful because sometimes I need that boost. Mm-hmm. I need it, Lord, and it was there, and I was happy. But, I mean, I've been hearing on the radio, they say a lot of businesses are opening, but they're losing money because people don't know they're open. So if you do see maybe a balloon or some type of signal, that means the business is open and you can go ahead and patronize them because they definitely, small businesses too, definitely need our support because they're definitely taking a hit. The economy is taking a hit real bad, you know. But we'll be all right. Everybody will be all right. Just take some time. It's going to all get better. Right. And lighter news. (laughs) Uh, Keep sanitizing, keep washing, and, you know, avoid sick people. Wear those gloves at the pumps. Yes, I, I got know. me a box. Seriously, I, I, I heard that uh, other people got affected in the area because really? from the just g- from the gas pumps. Mm. So that's another coughing. <laughs> I was thinking about that earlier. I did. I got some gas, and I was like, I have a a glove box full of gloves. Uh-huh. But I was just like, let me just sanitize. <laughs> so I leave for about that. I just sanitize, sanitize. Which sanitize. they were already gross anyway. So exactly. I'm not saying it's nothing new. So I seen the buses are running. It's free to get on, but they're only you can only exit and enter off the back door. Oh, so that's I know that. yeah. Okay. I saw and I actually seen it happen in real time. So I guess it's true that it. <laughs> <laughs> but open this back down. Mm-hmm. Stay behind the way behind. They done moved the little yellow line ten feet back, <laughs> back to the middle of the bus. Y'all go all the way back there. Uh, so in like anyway, so I know we all corona it out. So you know whatever. Um, it is schools mostly all Detroit public schools are giving now free lunches and breakfasts. I mean breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> breakfasts, <laughs> breakfast for anybody in need so you can check those out if you need it or you know save some money i was first i was kind of like i mean you know i don't want to take from people that need it but also i didn't really think about it like you could save money when on um, meat and food and bread because kids has been i've been seeing posts all day on social media about kids eating up everything in the house all oh, the snacks yeah. So it's like, yes. take their butt to that school then. Like, oh, y'all want to eat everything? Let me go over here. Take y'all over here. Y'all right. eat these lunches <laughs> that you've been avoiding all school year. <laughs> go back up there and eat them. I mean, it'll save. It'll save a couple dollars. I mean, if somebody need it. But other than that, I'm definitely corona out. I'd be happy when we can, you know, do something. Right. It's about to be summertime. Yes. Who wants to sit in the house? Oh, and our hot girl summer body is going to be going. <laughs> I'm still trying to work out. I I swear, like, my mind is always focused on working out, and I'm getting all the way there. <laughs> I'm almost there. I feel like a day is coming when I'm going to get up and walk and do something. I would have did it today, but it was. I would thought it was just going to be sunny, sunny, sunny. And it tricked me. It was a little cloudy right. and windy. Mm. Not a 60-degree weather I was expecting. But me and Angel were talking earlier. <laughs> Just since it's a ladies' day, you know, it's still uh, National Women's Month, right? It's still March. Yeah, so, hey, true. we don't take advantage of these last few uh, days. And we were just, you know, speaking on, you know, being single and dating and having the freedom to date, but sometimes still being human mm-hmm. and possibly you know have a not necessarily an emotional attachment but just emotions right you know yeah. towards certain things like you know you date guys these guys are single guys are they i feel like they all just praise being single it's just like gives them a pass to do what they want but yet they kind of low-key cuff certain girls like they do the extras make you feel a little extra special oh, yes. but you're not technically their girlfriend and they get to use that car oh wait you know my girlfriend car <laughs> hold on back up <laughs> you know my girlfriend car we're not in a relationship uh, car like yeah. 
And it's like, you get it? And it's like, okay, I get it, I get it. And maybe because some girls, we don't date as much, maybe. And maybe we some do. But it's like when you like somebody, you like them. And you want to pretty much spend time with them. Even mm-hmm. if you just have another friend. If you like somebody, you like them. Right. But why is it that we always get the short end of the stick? It's like, do the guys have to go through the same thing? Do y'all, do they feel the same thing? Like, are they dating all these guys? Because I know when it's been times like if you... I mean, you know, a guy like you, you like him, but you may not like him, like him, like him, but you mm-hmm. like him. And you easily can be like, no, I'm straight. I don't feel like being bothered, you know. And they just keep coming like, right. okay, I said I'm, I'm okay. We don't have to see just, and they just keep coming, keep coming. You like, but do they feel that same way, like, dang, you know, or do they just feel like somebody else going to possibly sleep with her? I feel like they just care about you basically sleeping with somebody else versus you really spending time with somebody. What um, you think? Let me see. Let me. Uh, it could go both ways, okay. but I think they do like the chase. Mm. It's that alpha male. Yeah. If I want her, I can get her. Right. Even if she tell me no. <laughs> Gotta stay persistent. <laughs> yeah, but um, I do. I, I, I guess I could say from my experience mm-hmm. of what I see, of course they won't tell you, but they actions speak louder than they words. Always. And they don't want to appear weak or losing control of the situation. So mm-hmm. obviously they're not going to tell you. Like, yeah, I'm upset or my feelings is hurt yes. because you're out with John tonight. No, oh, yeah. I want you to come out with me. They'll say stuff like, oh, you going on a hot date? Right. <laughs> you looking nice for, where, where you going? Who you, who you trying to yeah. look at for? Oh, you told oh me that's today? why I didn't hear from you? Right. You know, those those are words they're saying, like. <laughs> and as girls and women, why? It's like we always kind of get like, oh, my God. Like, you can, if you, you know, you kind of, like, you know, if you don't like them, you just be like, shut. Right, like, mm, he's so annoying. But if you mm-hmm. do, you'd be like, ah. but then it's that ah, they still haven't, mm-hmm. you know. And why, you know, we always try not to be clingy and okay, relationship, relationship, relationship. And a lot of women are get to the point where they are switching roles now. Yeah. But I don't know. It just seems like we always got to check our feelings. Check your feelings. Check your feelings. Check your feelings. I'm um. But they don't have the same responsibility. It's like if they feel as if they acting a little nutty or a little jealous, it's expected because it's a man. Or, oh, he really, really, really likes me. You know, but when we right. get to doing this, she crazy as hell. Yeah. <laughs> she crazy, dog. You need to stop talking to her. She crazy. Well, just knowing what we know about guys yeah. and monogamy is <laughs> kind of hard for them. I would agree with checking your feelings. I know I probably get bashed for that, <laughs> but if it's not official and you guys didn't clearly set those guidelines saying you're exclusive or you're mm-hmm. not working to a marriage, yes, you need to see this as a temporary and just have fun. You know what I'm saying? Don't give them all of it before they even give you the ring. I mean, and what is, what is not giving them all of it? Um, for the for people who don't know. I mean, not not just physically, but right. emotionally. Giving them like, all your emotions. Yeah, like having, having them, them the control over you. Just have That's fun. That's like a male thing. They always want to control. You know, it's always a control factor. Like, oh, you yeah, well, didn't I mean, it's not always intentional that they want to control. I mean, because, again, males want to be that alpha. So right. it's, it's, it's <laughs> instinct, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But I guess control is a harsh ro- word. but But it's true. I can't think of another word to right. replace it. <laughs> I mean, if you exactly. can think of another word, let me know. But a little forceful, aggressive, I don't know. But say at the end of the day, borderline is control. Men want to control the women. And that's crazy because they would, I feel like they would want to be in an open relationship for the benefit of themselves, hmm. but not when it comes to the well, female. I mean, I think if they feel like they're in a mind space where they're not ready to give you 100% and don't want to hurt you, mm-hmm. they may come off that they're being selfish with that, but they know that that's keeping you at bay mm-hmm. is kind of the best for the situation right now. Yeah. And sometimes I, I get that too. Yeah. It's like it's a, you get it, but it's, it's only you get it when you're not going through <laughs> You know, because I did like a guy, you know. And, you know, some about these guys to me that have a little bit of, you know, clout, I'm going to say, quote, unquote, that you feel like you need to, 
extend your politeness a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if it's about success or if it's about them seeming to be on another level. But I feel like sometimes we kind of like, okay, because I've been around successful guys and seen women act a certain way. Like, Mm -hmm. you know, you could tell, like, is this really you? Yeah. Or you just... You know, and then yeah, right. I mean, then of course they have to like filter that out too. Yeah. Are you here because you want some uh, my or status my or my you know my just position a, mm. or and a lot of like times that. that is what it is. Yeah. They are they just cloud chasing yeah. too. Shoot, but it's it's like <laughs> when you're genuinely like trying to be yourself, but you feel like you can't be because. This person, it seemed like everything got to be perfect. And Mm -hmm. you want to be perfect. And it's like, is this perfect? Is this good enough? Is that good enough? It's stressful. And it's not fair. Mm -hmm. You know, but I know a lot of women do it. And just speaking, like, when you are in those situations, when you are around those certain guys. Like, if you're around, you know, John and the boys, I feel like you are probably maybe express your opinion a little more like Mm -hmm. you know what no i ain't no this i'm not feeling (laughs) but when you're around you know this okay the do-gooder okay it's like of course most successful men and men of some type of stature have a lot of women around Mm -hmm. most of them are pretty and beautiful and it's like you in this position where you around the guy and you like him, you think, yeah, he, he, and say for he invites you to on a trip or a party, and you go, and you thinking, okay, maybe we're gonna have some fun, you know, like, mm-hmm. all right. And then you get there, you see somebody else. It's like, okay, you know, this, so, this is cousin. Okay, this is, <laughs> who is this? Uh, this who is this? <laughs> and you kind of like, and then those are those moments, like, okay, well, we're single. Yep. Yes, we might have had a moment together. We might have done so. We might have had a little rendezvous, whatever. Right. So you automatically feeling like, oh, we about to maybe we had some fun on this trip, mm-hmm. you know? And then or whatever the situation is, and it, and you see this other person, and you just like, oh, should I? What? It's like in that split second, as a woman, it's like, what do you do? Do you check, dog check, polite check? Play your position, play your role, stay calm, stay cool. And how do you maintain it? Like, in my position, when I was in that situation, I was actually going somewhere with somebody, and they brought somebody else. And I was just kind of like, ooh. Now, we going out of town. Now, this ain't just a trip around the block, okay? So, it's like, for a minute, I, I feel like I was acting up, but not necessarily. It was all over me, though. The person, even the young lady was kind of like, I just felt like you didn't like me because <laughs> I wasn't liking you for the first five hours. But after a while, I was an adult about it. I'm like, you know what? We're single. I'm single. This person's mm-hmm. here. It's a throwback. I am going to address it because I can't not address it. Like, because it's just, I can't not say anything. But. So, I mean, did he give you at least the courtesy knowing that she was going and let you know that mm-hmm. he possibly was nah, with somebody else. Put it this way. I, f- I seen, it was like a group of people that was going. So it was like, uh, you seen names in a group okay. going maybe, okay. Yeah. But you didn't necessarily know, like, for sure. Exactly. You know. And then, like I said, when you think you like somebody and you want to kind of, and it's still, you know, nothing has been said. You don't want to, like come be forward and scare somebody off you yeah. know what i'm saying whatever the case is so you just take it slow you just kind of work with the with the mood see what it happened but that just throw you off and you just like damn that just threw every that just fuck this could put my whole situation now i'm just all the way through and it was like a minute for a second it just wants to cut the fuck up like <laughs> are you serious but I ha- I was like, let me maintain cool, calm, and cool. Because, mm-hmm. like you said, then you would look crazy. Just yeah. like, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, right. who said we was dating? What? what? I mean, and, because I, I sound like the naive one. But, because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if that person is, like, genuinely a friend or just mm-hmm. part of the group, and then he sees that you can, you know, condone yourself knowing that he may be, around other genders right. and everything, you might be wifey material. That sounds very, that but sounds very like naive. Right. I, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I probably would want to blow the fuck up too. Is but, I mean, I would have to debate it in the bathroom. Like, is this the right situation <laughs> But then time? is that when the women become a competition? So it's like, okay, no, you see me, I see you. I would never be in competition. Low-key competition, like. 
All right, well, we gonna see what happens later. Like, who's gonna who's gonna be laid up? No. Who's gonna talk to them in the practice? Like, cause you know that's got to be going through people here, especially yeah. on a situation like that when it's an enclosed situation, not when it's open. Right. But when you're somewhere else, just no. like, or you just fall back and bite the bullet and be pissed. Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. <laughs> It was a tough one. Right, right, It right. was a tough one. I was, I was in there. It was a tough one. Yeah. I mean, I just, I could have bogarted and, mm-hmm. but I just felt like as a woman, and I'm a little, sometimes I could be old school. So like, I don't like to chase no man. You know, I feel like if he wants to be with me, then he will come this way. Right. And right. then sometimes it's hard to say that because guys are so stupid and they just kind of feel out, well, okay, whatever happens, I'm just, mm-hmm. just whatever keeps it calm, they just go with the flow. And sometimes you do have to steal that moment. I don't know. If they want you, they'll come for you. I believe so. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> if they want you, they they'll will come for you. you. Yes. Ladies, don't go chasing him if, nope. he, didn't, if he didn't come. Nope. Cause I'm telling you, my fallback game is strong. <laughs> <laughs> I did that like, look, I'm doing too much. You know what I'm saying? As cool as I can be, I'm yeah. doing too much. <laughs> Fell back, did everything I can to get my attention. <laughs> so, That's what happens. Like, so, whoop, whoop, whoop. yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Dating out here is hard in 2020. Yeah, it is. And now you, it's the corona. Everything is uh, going crazy. Yeah, don't give CPR to a dead situation. Yeah, That's true. I like that Murphy. one. I like that too. I like that. Don't try to revive it. It's no. over. I mean, it's too many fish in the sea. That's true. Hadn't, hadn't found them yet. And I, because I've been seeing a couple different ish, just situations and people that go through that, and it's just like they want that person so bad that they just will not give up. Mm-hmm. It's like all the signs are there. Just give it up. Yeah, because they, they acting still with their heart, not with their mind. They're not, like, sitting back, like, out-of-body experience, mm-hmm. like, look, this is how I'm looking. Right. You know what I'm saying? They just go instinct of how they feel, and it <laughs> and go <till> less. <laughs> in some cases, they wait and wait and wait, and then eventually, once nobody else wants the person, they eventually do uh, <laughs> get them. Right. But it's like, was it worth it? Right. And I want to know that. Like, for the woman who waited and waited and waited and waited, maybe he was married, maybe he was out just still losing. You waited all that time, and finally he decided to say, okay, all right, you know what, I, I'm, you've been here, you done dealt <laughs> with me, I'm going to go on to marry you. Like, was it worth it? Right. Are you happy? Like, are you just settling? You know, did you run out all your other you, options so you know I'm here? You exactly. Know? And that's what it that, I, that's that's how, sit right with me. That's then, how I would feel, too. Like, oh, you just. And how uh, you know his actions won't change after the marriage? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's true. And will they? So, and I've seen couples, the, a couple that I know in particular, that that kind of was a situation. And they seem happy. Okay. But do you know for sure? Is the guy happy, though? Or did he just settle? And you was just right. there. You know, because I want to be chased. I want to feel the love. I want to feel like, you know what? I want you, girl. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I remember. Only you. Is, <laughs> only you. I remember my mom. Well, she she, she still say it sometimes. That my um, daddy tell her, like, I will slide down the razor blade butt naked for you. Like, Ooh, that's goodness. how. I know that's, Ooh, that's deep. <laughs> that's how much he loved her. It's like, you want somebody to tell you that where you even like, ooh, I, right. mm, I don't know if I do that back. Because a razor blade butt naked? Ooh. Blood, one, one long ass crack. I'm telling you, <laughs> Stay all the way to your neck. It's like that's like for somebody to even say that to me is just like you don't even hear people say stuff like that no more. Right. You know, like yeah. do is is that type of love still here? Does it still exist? I don't know. It's hard to say now. I don't know so either. many different things that come into priority now, like money, and I start thinking about that too, like. In certain cultures, you know, girls and young ladies are taught to marry for status. Mm-hmm. Make sure you're taken care of. You know, make sure he has yeah. this, that, or that. Some girls can't only marry doctors or lawyers. They family, like, don't bring nothing back here but mm-hmm. this. But then in some other cultures and situations, they're just taught to just, you know, they're not even taught nothing. Just if you find somebody, okay. Yeah. Like, what or most people... Let's see. They say, find the man you love, right? Somebody you love. So which one is it? You know, because it's like, (laughs) 
I mean, I you think some people grow to end up having it all, uh, grow into it, right. or arrange marriages. Like you don't even know this person. You know you don't love them. You don't know them. Ugh, but no. then you just deal with them for the next fifty years, and then you see that couple, and you're like, yeah, we yeah. happy. Okay, so I dated a a guy recently, right? No sparks, nothing. But mm-hmm. it seems like each interaction we had, there was more quirks about him. I was like, ugh. <laughs> I just, not like, uh, Like, I mean, he was really nice. Mm-hmm. And he would have had a higher status. But it was just like, am I doing this because he looked good on paper? Because, you know, I'm at a certain status. And, then, I mean, the status doesn't matter. But you kind of, like, naturally attract mm-hmm. a certain level. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not that I'm, like, filtering through them. But they naturally, because mm-hmm. they may think that it's intimidating, yeah. you know, being mm-hmm. with a female developer in government. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's a unicorn. Right. So, but I kind of forced it because I was like, he's genuinely nice. We right. we do have a good time. We don't have to laugh. Trying know. to think outside the box. You know, I was just like, okay, I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to give it a chance. Um, <laughs> I even, you know, did everything I could <laughs> to see, like, okay, this is really going to spark it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. It was flat. <laughs> flat line. It was flat. <laughs> And I'm like, I gave it all. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I, I did all this. So, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'm something. single, so I don't know. I can't get too much <laughs> advice. <laughs> but, but I don't know if I could have gone to like that person. And then, as a friend, a, yes. Yes, right. But as a spouse, I'm not sure. And this, and that's what I don't like. And that's the part. Because even myself, I feel like I... Somewhere in the back of my mind, sometimes I do feel like, you know what, I need mm. to get with this person. Be- you know, you think, like, when you just talking to your girls and stuff, you always be like, yeah, girl, I'm going to find somebody with a millionaire, yeah. somebody with some money, <laughs> da, 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 da. But then it's like, like you said, but then you get to meeting people and yeah. the guys that do have status, you see sometimes they just like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. no. I don't know. For me, it's the person. Yeah, everyone has the potential to get there. So they it, do. for me, it's the person. If, and that's another thing: the ambition and the potential means a lot. Yeah, because I can work with that. Mm-hmm. But you, you know, if you come in with something and then you get that, yeah, you I can see work you trying. Up. You know what I'm saying? Let's build each other. They I'm might like, need a I'm couple connections. That. They might not know how to open that door to the left. Right. You know, that's understandable. But it's just like goodness <laughs> gracious, like. But I think women, and mostly black women, always fall for the love aspect. Like, you know, I just love him so much. And he could be going to jail. He's like, I know, I know. Hold it down. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to ride it down. I just love him. And it just, but then I do, and I'm just going to say, I look at, you know, the like Arabic women, sometimes they marry only this status they and this is the family pushing and i wonder is it the family dynamic then because then you look back mm-hmm. and most black families are broken or not as you know yeah whatever the case may be and is it because they're not getting that push like if your dad was like no you're not if your daddy's girl your dad told you you only bring the doctor you bring the doctor right because you like okay that's mm-hmm. what he wants but then it's like now when you don't have a lot of fathers in the home, it's like they could just bring and mom probably Daddy like Daddy issues. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to fill that void. Exactly. That's where you can <laughs> Yeah. And then that don't disrespect to nobody. But then I look at some, you know, like even Caucasian women and other races, they go straight for the engineers and this mm-hmm. and that and the IT developers and they might be dorky and corny and chunky and <laughs> they don't care. So let me ask you a question. So for me being the engineer and <laughs> IT and <laughs> the dorky girly in my department, so how would I handle? Because I had situations where guys would, they would like me because of what I do. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I straight up asked a guy like, if I would have lost my job for whatever reason, could not find another job, and my last resort was to go to McDonald's, would you still talk to me? I got to, um, well, danced around the whole ah. conversation. I said, okay, after you brainstorm your answer, right. <laughs> don't exactly. tell me, the tr- would you? And yes they're like, not. maybe not. Like, I said, okay, we are done. Dang, because, you right. know, it's like, you want me for what I do? For you what? know what I'm saying? For some thinking about what they can possibly gain 
for being around somebody like that. Right. I mean, but what are, what what do you say about that then? Mm-hmm. I mean, because that's flipping flipping roles, that right? Is. You know. And, I mean, surprised to hear that. Because, you know, sure. unfortunately, like, I don't know. I'm just a little small-time so teacher. Yeah. So, <laughs> <No>. she, <laughs> Uncle Joe from the garage might come so try to that's time. probably why I was so, <laughs> like, okay, well, they have to filter through mm-hmm. with them in the higher position. Yeah. Only because I experienced it myself as a woman. So. It, that it is what, not to just be trying to be racist. But are these black guys? Or was this a black guy? This was a black guy who was now used to dating black women. Oh. So he was a a, a, a he tree was, climber. Yeah. Like. He he was willing to cross <laughs> cross that <laughs> cross the threshold <laughs> to get that. <laughs> well, she seven fifty credit, maybe I guess, you know. <laughs> Cause I mean I've heard guys that see, I've I've heard guys say, oh, I'm looking for a woman with his, you know, seven fifty credit scale. Like for what? What you bring to her? What, what you want her to put in her name? Exactly. <laughs> what you trying to get? <laughs> Did that new That's truck? That's what it is. Right. That's what it is. That's what it seemed like. And it seemed like, you know, you hear, like, even on the show sometimes I hear guys, they comment on different topics and say, you know what, like, you know, it's a lot of good guys out here. And, you know, and then you, because you always hear, the, oh, us good women out here. We looking for the good guys. It's all guys trash. And they always say they out there, but then it's like, where are they? Or... Is it the ones that's a little, you know, rotund or, ugh, girl, <sighs> just all the no nos? Can we? Can you deal with the no no if if they're nice and they love you and they treat you like you know Aphrodite herself? Are you gonna ever get a hundred percent? And that's Be what real. I say. No. Are you ever? So is it time to accept? <laughs> <laughs> Do you, boo boo? The beetle juices <laughs> of the say. world. Do you? <laughs> That's all. If that makes you happy, do you? Because <laughs> I still think it's, you know, right. uh, Boris Kojo out there. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, yes. Because it's oh, just Russell, seems <laughs> something. Please. I know, I know. Because it just seems like you keep seeing the little, that he's so, and yeah. they be so nice, and it's so It could be age, too. And I think so. I, I mean, I find it. myself lately, I don't know if it's because I feel young, but I've been getting <laughs> them, the little younger, you know what I'm saying? Young tendies. So, but then again, I'm not looking for nothing serious. So I'm looking so to have fun. Why, yeah. So that's why I probably gravitate to the younger pool I've been, I've because they know how to have fun. They but do. those are the wild ones with a lot of no-nos, you know what I'm And saying? those are the ones so that attract you. You have to, to be careful. Keep your Cause they'd be composure like, oh, shit, <laughs> and then remind them, like, I do have options. Is <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here for, for a the, good time, not a long fun, time, baby. you know. <laughs> <laughs> not a long time, just for, just for the good times. You so silly, right? <laughs> yes, I mean, I definitely did. If people know, I'm sure some of my friends listen. Now, I definitely did deal with the the young gene. Lord have yes. mercy. That's, that's they can have me. fun. I can. Say it's that. a new. It's a new 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 pool for oh, me. You. <laughs> it's it's fun. It's fun. It's not it's fun. Yeah. Don't get caught up in the rapture, no, but it's no, fun. No, don't. Don't. <laughs> you don't want to <laughs> have a little young lady. <laughs> yeah, 22, 23. Or blow up Is if it? you see another woman. I'm just saying. Yeah, the young ones keep us, they keep a trail behind them. They do. They keep mm-hmm. a trail. And then I feel like, for the most part, they don't handle it well. Because, nope. I mean, you get an older guy. Sometimes you know they tell you, like, yeah, I got friends. You know, I got they kind of let you know up front, but they still, some of them, seem to know when to have that respect level. Like, well, when I'm talking to you, when we together, I'm not mm-hmm. even answering that phone, you know. Right. You know, you go, it's Put just me and down. you. Right, it's just us. Or those phones. Exactly. <laughs> right, <laughs> them phones. <laughs> Both. Exactly. And you got guys that will do that, and they let mm-hmm. you know. You, and I sometimes I I don't know why, but I do feel like when the guy's with somebody, they seem to know how to treat you better, like a woman good. Yeah. Better than the ones that single. Because the single ones, they like, I throw you away, girl. It's one waiting at the door. Yeah. So it's like you, you know, expendable with the, with the the sometimes with the young guys. Or the guys who dating a lot. But it seemed like guys who either, you know, either they have somebody or marry, whatever the case may be. They just seem, even if they marry, you may just still dismiss them. But they just be like, dang, I wish you was. It's like you always like, dang, why right. you got to be married? Because it's like they just had that good conversation. It's like they know how to talk. Is it because they got a wife or a girlfriend or they, 
mm-hmm. whatever. Because it's like the ones that's young, you just, they have charm. The ones that's single, and that's what kind of gets you be like, okay, you charming, but you can tell they full of shit. Yeah. You just be like, mm, okay, I you know cute. another one that like really attract them. Like <laughs> it kind of intimidating independence. Mm-hmm. Yes, when you feel like you don't need them, mm-hmm. you be that's want you... him, and he's just one of many. Yeah, <laughs> but that independence that's is very true. intimidating to him, but it's admiring. Yeah, I get it that is. Too. I, d- so, I definitely that because it's like you be like okay yeah you cool we good yeah and then you just like well why I heard from you in two or three days like I'm busy like I got other stuff going on because they used to be in chase you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. uh, that's the thing they definitely used to be in chase so when you give them that little resistance like I'm good I'm chilling over here I got multiple things going on too it's like you do get that that's right in chase. if Miss a man Murphy. wants you. In his life, he will put you there. You should not be fighting exactly. for a spot. Thank exactly. Exactly. I don't fi- so I can't let, fight. So let let the them spot. other ones fight. go crazy and fight and throw a fit. <laughs> but you're spot. like, okay, you know, just hey, he'll he'll come running. Just <laughs> five, <laughs> four, <laughs> three, <laughs> ding dong. Oh, there you go. Here he is. Yeah. And that's very true. That confidence go a long way. I can't say that. So definitely when you kind of, you know, I don't know a lot of women. I think a lot of women, even if they don't have a high, you know, a high level of self-esteem, they still feel like they do for some reason. Yeah. But it's like your actions show because it's certain things you want to tolerate. You yeah. know the difference between when somebody And cares. then I, I can tell. I, I mean, I get it. You don't, you can't tell when you get there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Take something dramatic yeah. to happen to know you're there so I, I mean i get it and then you can't you can't forget the guys that are leading you on as mm-hmm. if you are the only one exactly too. so you can't fault her either. yeah but hopefully she learned it. from the situation but you can't you yeah. know because i'm playing real you i'd be surprised like how did they do all of that with this right here i was like I'm sh- i know i know exactly <laughs> what you're saying to her exactly like exactly. but you know but it, and it felt good at the time because yeah. you like the guy and then he's telling you all the right things. Mm-hmm. And, he, and, you know, if you're not unsure, he'll know how to reel you in yeah. and say, you know. You got to so, keep your arm around, ladies. You got to keep your arm around. These guys are slick sometimes. And because of, of course, the number one thing is sex. You know, that's how they get you and yep. dupe you. Yep. Get you keep coming back because it's like some of them, they can do it with gifts as well. You know, mm-hmm. I, it is some that will definitely shower you with. You just wake, look up, it's flowers, like, oh, chocolates, all type of stuff. I'm like, what's this? And I think some guys do that. They roll yeah. you in with that. And then, oh, I did all of this. And you need it. you like, whoa. Did I ask? No. <laughs> but that is also a form of control. Hmm. You know, when people do that, because it's one thing to just be genuinely nice. Like, you know what? Oh, yeah, your dog died. You know what? You heard. We was talking about it. And they say, you know, you get some flowers. Okay, fine. Yeah. But it's different when it's like every five minutes, like, you need this? Or you just be like, man, dang, my nails. Oh, you need this? Like, oh. And then next thing you know, they expected a night at the hotel. It's like, what? Hold oh, on, baby. No. Wait a minute, nah. I who said that? Right. But they all <laughs> the gifts and this and that and this and that. So, um, you know, you have to be careful. Cause mm-hmm. I remember a long time ago, somebody was like, told me like, you be careful when you ask people to, you know, guys to pay this and do that. One of my friends, a guy actually, it was like, cause they always want to. The guy will do all that, but only for something in return. And sometimes that is the case. And they can't get crazy because they'll be sitting outside your house in the Ooh, bushes no. stalking you just because they helped out on the bill. Yeah. You know? Ooh. I see somebody text it. My, uh, one of my family members just going crazy. Like, I need some money. You ain't laying up in here for free. Just crazy. Like, damn. Man. <laughs> what was going on? <laughs> it's all different type of situation, personalities, and people that's going through all type of stuff you got. Women that believe the guy should um, they should always be giving them something when they walk through the belt. Mm-hmm. They'll never come empty handed. You got some that feel like, like you said, they independent and they like I don't need nothing from you. Period. But your company, right? <laughs> you yes. know, what I'm saying? and that's okay too. And I can get that anyway. Exactly. Just have that mindset. I know it's hard. It's hard. It is. Depending it took a on, while. It took a while for me to get there. Yeah, honestly, I feel like when you get to a certain age as a woman, you. Because you deal with riffraff, you go through this, you go through that, you finally say, you know what, let me just, 
if I don't want it, I don't want it. Or right. if I don't want to be bothered, I don't want to be bothered. You know, because it's like, who wants to just constantly be sitting there waiting for somebody to want to deal with you? Yeah. Versus you just say, hey, what you up to? And they like, nothing, you know, what's up? Versus you like, oh, uh, what time can you, are you free? Like, no, it's not going to work. Mm-hmm. You know, I just can't do it. I can't do it anyway. Right. I got to be number one. Even if I'm number two, I better be number one. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you what do you feel about that statement? I'm not trying to be your own girl, but your favorite girl. <laughs> Have you seen that? <laughs> ah, you know, I, I'm a Libra, so I can tip the scales, and I can see it on all scales, on all sides. Because if you're not looking for that, you mm-hmm. just, like you said, looking for fun, you like, right. look, I'm not here for that. I just want to, you know, get my little couple hours, and I'm done. Mm-hmm. I got stuff to do. I can see that. You know, you like, well, you with me just make it special. I'm trying, don't, I ain't got time to be like Keisha and Pam and them. This yeah. is me. So I can understand that. Then on the flip side, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> when you're looking at yourself and you, you know, I, I'm like, I, I guess I can, if it's not serious, it's fine. Right. I if mean, you go have it anyway. Why not accept it? You I know. just don't know when your mind is wrapped around this facade that this person is yours and this is your man and y'all together and just because you didn't you know you sleep with him or you come to him when he calling every five minutes and there for him everything I he think needs women are scared to set those boundaries up they front are. because they don't want scared a man but if it's scared mm. a man then it's not the one for you yeah i'm just saying it may hurt a little bit but <laughs> you'll get back up somebody else could be coming Cause yeah. like, why put yourself through all of that? Like you said, like why, why? What's the point? I'm not gonna sit there and do all of that, you know, for what? Yeah, yeah. But again, like I said, that's that's like a, it's a form of art. Like yeah. it, it took years. <laughs> yeah, to get to that point where yeah. I'm not feeling, you know, and just having that confidence. Cause it's like I have made decisions where I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna think like this. Cause I always feel like think like a guy. Think mm-hmm. like a guy. Think mm-hmm. like a guy. Then you won't get hurt. You won't get hurt. Right. And I built up this wall to say, you know, what? like, I'm not cuddling. Ain't none of that. If we do sleep together, you need to leave immediately. Like, yeah. I don't even want to spend time with you. Don't call me no more. I don't even want to see you no more. Nope. And that was really cutthroat. Hide, hide, block. <laughs> exactly. Those help. <laughs> and it wasn't. And I was just doing it because I felt like this is what I need to do to protect myself. Because I don't want to be the girl I saw get dogged after she lost her virginity to a guy. And he just disrespected her, called her hoes and no. all types of stuff. you like, dang, I know she lost her virginity to you. And then you did calling her a hoe. Right. So it's like growing up, you didn't want to have that stigma. So you Try to play it safe. Or you go through things and learn from them and realize, yeah, this is the situation I don't think I want to be in no more. Yeah. So you take precautions. Now it's like this. Now I feel like this. Now I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to handle things like that. And it, I feel like it kind of turned me into a player. Because <laughs> I was just so like, I don't need nothing. And then it's like you said, and then I get to the age of 10 to 30-ish. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't, I don't, because it's been times where you feel like just because you like a guy, he come over, you feel like you obligated to just deal with him, lay mm-hmm. with him, whatever. And it's come to a point where it's like, for what? Because you right. come into me, I'm supposed to want to sleep with you? Because you calling me. Right. Like, and guys make you feel like that sometimes, like, because I'm calling you and I'm showing you interest. Like, oh, okay. When I tell you, you know who else you're going to call. This, exactly. I mean, that don't mean much, but. Whatever. But <laughs> if some people had, they just be thinking, like, oh, he calling me, he must want to be by. Like, no, go somewhere yeah. else. Nah, his other hoe didn't answer the phone. Exactly. So they just like, well, who go, who going to pick up? Yeah, whoever pick up, I'm just going to go. No, with no, that. no. All guys ain't like that. They All not, guys but are not. You be, but the you vast naive, majority. Especially if they are young. What mm-hmm. I say, under 30. I don't know when they get to the 30s. Let me let me play with that pool real quick and Girl, I'll let y'all know. <laughs> when they under 30 and they're having fun. Fun. They're trying to get everything out they can before they find that one that's a little down. And that's so, understandable. I mean, there is a decent way to do it, and there's some ways they do it, yeah. and it's just downright disrespectful. <laughs> and you're just going to have to recognize the fine lines. It's always going to come to that disrespectful point. And it's like, guys, are you guys not, are you handling, juggling too many women where you, you ju- it just all fall apart somewhere? Or sure. do you just not care? 
<laughs> you like, look, they, some, they, right. whoever, somebody, somebody will still be here when it's all said and done. Getting sloppy with it. it. Yeah, getting sloppy getting a with lazy. it. Look, <laughs> you know what? I'm dr- everybody come to the party. Do you think like media and all that? That's what influence them. Having multiple women, you know, yeah. all this money. Party I think it's always you know what I'm saying? So they want to try that. And when they try it, it comes. So much, circle. and then you got all these I don't cat know. fights. I just wonder what who is doing that. <laughs> I just don't understand who, like, what is the purpose of doing it? Because, like, in the before social media was big, it was still like guys with multiple girls cheating, mm-hmm. doing all type of crazy stuff. So it was like, it, it what? Who started that? It's somewhere else making them like, or is it a conquer defeat thing? Like. Cause I do have a son, and I'm wondering when he gets I mean, to that age, was pl- what's that gonna maybe be? Maybe like? having multiple wives was that a thing? Right, the, you know, the it's whole always more women in the world that. than it was men. So mm-hmm. it's just, and then now we're trying to get to them, where we're trying to tame them, and and like, that's what no. I, that little part of me always did wonder: like, is monogamy? Is that supposed? Is it? Is it supposed to be? Because, like you said, you read the Bible, you go back in time, and you hear about you know even all these prophets who had multiple. They had wives. They had the extra wives or the little the wives, little attendants yeah. or whoever they was having babies with them. And yeah. so some of the wives was stir wasn't able to have kids, so the housewives would help and they would get pregnant too like for the man so it's like what is that is it supposed to be like then you hear guys they always and it is always more women yeah to a man so it's like are we trying to force them into monogamy should we be having a couple keychas there like girl you need to cook yeah clean the house up or should we get back (laughs) just be oblivious to it to protect ourselves right or is it like a standpoint, like, this is going to happen from this time to this time? I do think it's a respect factor, like you said. Like, do you think men are going to cheat? Like, even the best of guys, I feel like they may not even cheat, but once every seven years, yeah. I don't know. But it's like, it's happened. Mm-hmm. It may not have lasted. It may not have been something they carry on mm-hmm. for, you know, months and weeks and years. But it, they might have went somewhere, had a moment. Maybe something was going on with the wife medically. Anything. She just yeah. had a baby pregnant. And they might have did something, boop, but it never spilled into the home factor. It never crossed that boundary. Right. And I think a lot of men, I believe that's the case with a lot of them. And I can respect that factor. So what about the ones <laughs> <laughs> who, like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't right. care if she in the over next door I don't in the house she or she in, on her way. Or, she, right. Right. I mean, that is what do you, how do you address that? Yeah, the ones that just don't. I mean, care. if you're not married, then obviously the obvious answer is like move on. So exactly. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's not. Sometimes it's not that easy. It is not. Not saying that I ne- I n- never personally experienced that, <laughs> but I'm just saying like I'm seeing people who have. Yeah, and they don't, and the girls just won't. They won't go away. They don't care. They like. Shh. I don't care about nothing. I want you. I don't care about this holiday. I don't care about her birthday. I don't care about That's this. That's true love, right there. <laughs> <It's> love. <laughs> And that's why I don't unconditional. <laughs> it's like at some point that's when those feeling boundaries step in because like everybody starts off. I think it's even women right now who started dating a guy who was married or in a relationship and they started off saying, you know what? I just like you and I don't even care that you got this going on. I just mm-hmm. think I could just we could be cool. I'm not tripping. I don't even want to disrupt your home. I just want to, you know, just be able to continue to know you and, you know, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And then, okay, that's cool for some months, and then six months pass, and, or a year pass, and now, y'all, you got this feeling, and then it's like... Oh, yeah. That first, yeah, you're, you're blind to everything on the honeymoon stage. Exactly. You give it three months. You're right. <laughs> pass that stage. And you and ready to whoop some like, ass after right, that. you like, oh, wait, it's Valentine's Day, and you, you going to be with her? Now it's another situation because yeah. now you look at like, or she she pregnant, she about to have a baby, <sighs> and you like, well, that's my this my wife, this my girl, yeah, this the situation, <laughs> right? You knew this is what you signed and up you for. You look at like, Shh, I ain't look, nah. Yeah. They give you all that that problems and and yeah. I just understand why do guys 
continue to chase the situation. Like, if you know, like, you're married in a relationship and the things get deep, maybe your girlfriend, baby mama, significant other, whatever, got pregnant or whatever the case was, mm-hmm. and this put a damper in your side relationship, why not just cut that relationship off? Why do y'all go back and try to... Oh, baby, you know what? You, you know, just look, I didn't know this was going to happen. She didn't tell me. We wasn't even doing it. We, you know, just yeah. that one time, her birthday, we was together. Da, 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 all these excuses. Like, yeah. what is the purpose? Do you think feelings got involved? With the guy on the guy's end? Sometimes I yeah. wonder, is it they feelings or is it the they just don't want to lose? And they don't want to hurt, you know. Mm-hmm. They, they, I don't know, develop. I just don't understand that. Maybe a guy could come just chime in and let me know because I'm just, I don't understand. Like, yeah. Why keep chasing the relationship if you know you really can't even maintain it? Right. Like, why keep keep going back trying to convince her? Like, oh, I'm sorry, baby. And I hear some guys say, like, I can hear somebody saying it now in my head, like, <laughs> well, as long as she going to let me, you know, I'm going to try. But why? Yeah, I know. Why? It's just like a headache. Oh, she much. mad at you. She done bitch you out. Why even call her back to even argue back about the situation? Well, I didn't know she did tell me. Did like, why do it? Instead, well, you could have just let it go. Like, well, hey, yeah, she, you know, this is what happened. So I'm just curious. I wish we had a guy here to explain I know. this to us. Because I, I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> I want to know. But it is. It's just. It, it's funny to me because I just don't get it. Right. I really don't. <laughs> so I don't know. But um, maybe the guys can let us know. I don't know. Ron, Ron, what you think? <laughs> Why is that? Why does that happen? I don't know. But we shall see. Yeah. I mean, somebody let us know. I know why I should. Because, like I said, they just, sometimes it's feelings. Sometimes I feel like they just get to the point where, shit, they like, oh, well. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I I don't want to lose it. It's what's comfortable. Yeah. Or it's just a, a a natural, I guess, reaction to automatically try to comfort somebody that's upset. Yes. You know, like, oh, no, no, no. That's not what it is. Hold yeah. on, chill out. Like, I guess that's just a na- I'm starting to think maybe that's just a natural reflex. So I, it's not genuine? You don't think so? I don't know, because I find myself doing that myself. And sometimes it's not <laughs> genuine. And I just be trying to keep the conversation down, like, look, or try to protect somebody's feelings or whatever. But that's mainly it. I don't know. You know. Well, I definitely, I guess we could wrap it up. It's about 8, almost 8.30. It's been fun. Yes, we got to was. get some girl talking in. You know, it's you know we didn't have our little Hugh and our guys to chime in, but it was good. Maybe we got to answer somebody's questions, make somebody think about something they may be doing or not doing. <laughs> More of the story. Don't do it, sis. Exactly. Do you. <laughs> Stand strong and be confident. <laughs> also, the, once again, this is Angel. What's your Instagram again? Uh, it's at Angel underscore Denise, D-E-N-I-C-E. All right, there you go. And thank you again for joining us. And no, she's an app developer once again for the government. So you yeah. never know. You may Give need it some up help. For the IT geeks. It, IT geeks. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it's, you know, it's AD, Nikia Fire Lovely. Or you can get hit us on IG on the V Life Podcast crew. And it's been another Friday night here on podcastdetroit.com. Thank you for listening, and we'll thank see you, you next week. Bye. Stay safe, corona free. Peace. That was quick.